fish in here grows at an enormous rate. There is just something very mysterious about this venue. Hi guys, it's Yaku from Family Fishing Guide. Please remember to like and subscribe to see more of these videos and obviously for some support on the YouTube content. Uh, sure guys, I'm actually still, I'm still shaking though, like what a morning, what a session. Uh, caught two very, very special fish this morning, which I didn't expect. So yeah, this morning was quite a shocker, what a moment. Uh, I put the rods out and then went back to sleep early morning. And then yeah, around 10-ish, I got screamed awake by a very special fish and then ironically 10 minutes later another very special fish so guys I'm all here on my own but I just caught something really really special oh my word so let me first take you back to our journey here at Lapa so the first session we had here at Lapa was around April March around there and I didn't take any camera equipment with, to be honest, because they said it's a very, very difficult venue and they guaranteed me I'm gonna blank my first time. And ironically, the second night of that first session, I did catch a beautiful 16.7.8 kg common. Uh, unfortunately, it was early in the night, so I couldn't sack it for the next day. And yeah, and then the next morning I caught a little ghosty kind of fish, also a very beautiful looking fish. It was also around 9 o'clock in the morning. Yo, this morning, yes. And both of them were caught on particle me. So that was our first session, it didn't go too bad at all. Um, I think if you catch a fish the first time at Lapa, you are very, very, very lucky. Our second session was just before winter, um, I think it was around May. We came here, it was, it was quite cold, but we did see some fish activity and so on. We were here for a full three days and we blanked, unfortunately. And that obviously got our spirits down very, very low. The morale was pretty down and you know, you get the feeling in the back of your head like, yo, this venue is too, too difficult. <laughs> But uh, yeah, nonetheless, I booked a session for after winter. Now this third session is quite interesting because I almost did not come. And the reason for that is, yeah, the fish was spawning. So, and luckily Alex convinced me to still come. And when I came here, I saw little signs of spawning activity. And I thought, okay, they might be spawning. And yeah, the first day, I didn't really see much, there wasn't really much happening and then the next morning I didn't see any signs of spawning so I think I'm just lucky I just had it the perfect timing but nonetheless my second day was also a solid blank. So yeah, Lapa is not an easy venue at all, so I decided to change a little bit of tactics by adding chili imp, which just gives that more natural effect to the mix and also 2mm sinking pellets to the mix. 
by the way I don't know why people don't use pellets these days uh, they love the attraction and they break little particles down in the water, water column uh, I'm not really fishing boilies as there is some crabs and catfish here uh, there was a slight change in the rig as well <laughs> in this session I went for the classic combi rig which is not really that difficult to tie you start by using a fluorocarbon boom section of around 10 to 12 centimeters long with an overhand loot knot at each end and then a short braided uncoated loop section using monster carb bait screws uh, by the way I love bait screws they're so much easier than bait floss and it doesn't really come off at all hook choice is a number four long shank hook and trimming down a piece of tiger nut preferably as small tiger as I can get and then topping that up with a pink or white mouse just for that buoyancy you know and then yeah as you can see the hook turns perfectly every single time so you get that proper hook hold on that bottom lip which is exactly what we want and then finally i'm using the pineapple flavored lug as uh, Gilbert always says south african carp loves pineapple so the session actually changed completely when I took the drone and, and actually saw one of the albino twins hanging out there by the reeds area and that's when I decided yeah I'm gonna put a rod in there. So yeah this morning is when something really special happened. I came here this morning around six o'clock quite early. Uh, I did my rods first thing I uh, took it out with the bait boat and set my rods, put my alarms on and then I went back to sleep because <laughs> I didn't have a good night's sleep to be honest. Just before 10, my first rod went screaming. Um, <laughs> as I reeled it in, I saw a very yellowish color on the, on the fish. So at first I just thought it was a common and I, yeah, it was a lovely 14.8 kg common carp, which Alex actually told me afterwards. It's a golden African carp, which is apparently a very, very fast growing fish. Nonetheless, super happy through the moon. Specimen, beautiful fish, beautiful, beautiful fish. <sighs> to come to a difficult venue like this and catch something. Like this is quite nice though, it's, it's very special. Um, to the moon and back, to the moon and back. Ooh, what a fish, what a fish. 14.8 kgs. Lovely, 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 lovely. And then as I release that fish and just getting everything ready again, 10 minutes, not even 10 minutes, the second rod went screaming though. And as I reeled it in, I got this real 
adrenaline rush because you know you don't catch two fish so quickly at Lapa. But anyway, as I as I was reeling it in, I saw that you know that linear mirror color on it, and I saw it had quite some size on it. But as it came closer, I saw that wow, this is a pretty pretty big fish, and it actually could be my PB. But yeah, it was it was chaos because I didn't have my landing net with me. It was on the other side. I didn't have my bucket with me. I wasn't ready because obviously I was still handling the previous fish. Uh, so yeah, oh, I can't explain the adrenaline rush I got from actually catching that fish. And when I finally picked it up uh, to put it in the waist sling, that's when I realized like, wow, this is a heavy fish. And yeah, I, I, I knew that that's my PB. And yeah, when I weighed it, it came to 18.8 kg. So what a lovely morning. No! No way! Oh my word, 18.8, no way. Oh my word. You're... Oh, holy shit. Oh my word. Hell of this guy, wow, it's massive. Oh, word, what a beautiful fish! Oh, what a monster, man! What a monster! What a fish! Oh, my word! Oh, my word! What a fish! What a fish, guys! So beautiful! Oh, my word! What a special feeling, huh? What a special feeling, guys. Lapa specimen monster. Wow. <laughs> oh my word. What a fish, what a fish, what a fish. Oh my word. Thank you, Lapa specimen. And thank you. Thank you, monster girl. Unfortunately, there's no one to do a bucket for me, but wow, what a fish. What a gigantic fish. Oh my god, what a special fish. It's time to let this beauty go. Off you go, boy. Off you go. There she goes. There she goes. Bye bye, beautiful. So, this linear actually has a very interesting story about it. It's actually still a very young fish. It was sold to Lapa a few years back as a reject. Uh, they said the tail is too small, so it's not going to be a big fish. And yeah, now look at it a few years later, and it's a big, big 40 pound plus fish. And then yeah guys, the good news is I am giving away a free combo of Monster Call products for the person that has the most shares on this video by the end of the month. And yeah, it just shows you that yeah, sometimes you can blank for two, three days in a row and then suddenly you can just catch something really, really special. And I think that is what Lapa is about, you know, there's something in this dam, you know, <laughs> I'm not sure what it is but the fish put on tremendous weight i really thought i was going on with the blank today like you know what i'll try again in december you know that was the thought that was honestly the thought but overall i'm very very happy and yeah it shows you if you good if you use good quality feed number one and if you really put in the effort then yeah at some time you'll, you'll be rewarded so yeah thank you lapa specimen